Hello students, today we are going to discuss about the MCQs based on the circulatory system. This is the part 2. The very first question is, the opening of pulmonary vein is without, the opening of the pulmonary vein is without valve because, now we see that in right auricle, the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava open. But they are guarded by the valves. And we know very well that their openings are guarded by various valves such as Thebaian valve, Eustachian valve, etc. Okay. But here is the pulmonary vein. And the pulmonary vein which is actually coming from the lungs which carry the oxygenated blood and it opens in the light, uh, opens in the left auricle. But here at its opening there is no valve present, no valve. But now the question arises that if there is no valve present at the opening of the pulmonary vein then the blood will go back into the pulmonary vein but it never happens it pours the blood in the left auricle but the blood does not go back in the pulmonary vein this is just and just because the opening of the pulmonary vein is obliquely placed it is little bit oblique which prevents the backflow of the blood say for in the excretory system also, when we study about the urinary bladder, at that place also we know very well that in urinary bladder, the ureters open, the ureters open. But there also we say that at the opening or we can say it is the ureters were obliquely placed right in the urinary bladder so that they prevent the backflow of the urine in the ureters exactly in the same manner here also the pulmonary vein, the opening of the pulmonary vein is oblique which is preventing the backflow of the blood. So the question is the opening of the pulmonary vein is without valve because it is a very small aperture, no. It has low BP, no. Its opening is oblique and none of these. So its opening is oblique. So it is very important question. Question number one is having the answer C. Okay. Now the question number second is hepatic portal system is presented. Now we must know first of all that what is hepatic portal system. So hepatic portal system is a via system. Means the veins coming from the intestine and the stomach. Particularly the veins coming from the intestinal parts and the stomach never open directly into the heart. Why? Because they consist of certain toxic substances and that's why they first do not open into the heart they first open in the liver so that in liver detoxification can occur that is removal of the toxic substances can be done and ultimately they open in the heart so hepatic portal system is the feature of all the vertebrates all vertebrates okay are having the hepatic portal system so see the options fishes amphibians and reptiles reptiles and birds all mammals or all vertebrates so all vertebrates are having the feature that they have hepatic portal system. So question number two is having the answer D. Now there is no DNA in, there is no DNA in hair root and enucleated ovum, mature RBC or a mature spermatozoan. Okay. Now we know very well that mature RBC is devoid of all the things. It is not having the nucleus, it is not having the cell organelles, nothing. It only consists of the hemoglobin. So the most better option that where the DNA is absent. So the mature RBC is not having the DNA and all other a mature spermatozoan, a enucleated ovum, hair root all have the DNA but mature RBC is not having the DNA. So question number three is having the answer C. In humans, fourth question. In humans, the volume of the blood pumped out, in humans, volume of blood pumped out by each ventricle per minute is. So, the volume of blood pumped out by each ventricle per minute is. So, that is, question number 4 is, you must know that it is 5 liter. The answer is 5 liter. How it comes? So, we know very well that cardiac output is equal to stroke volume into heart beat per minute 
so stroke volume is 70 ml and heartbeat per minute is 72 that comes out to be 5 liters if i convert ml into liters it comes out to be 5 liters so in humans the volume of blood pumped out by each ventricle per minute is 5 liters so question number 4 is having the answer b now how many double circulations are normally completed by heart in one minute you know very well what is double circulation double circulation means what that in uh, each cardiac cycle the blood passes two times through the heart now the question is how many double circulations are normally completed by human heart in one minute we know very well that in one minute what will happen 72 times the double circulation will occur why because heart beat per minute is 72 times and one heart beat is equal to one cardiac cycle so how many double circulations are normally completed by human heart in one minute so it is 72 so question number 5 is having the answer d okay so student these questions were based on the circulation will be coming uh, with new videos uh, on other topics also so keep watching thanks a lot if you want to take the screenshot of this video you can take